back at the creek. And again, it changes a little bit of appearance based on the weather conditions. You be careful there, Miss Tansy. Right? Hey, what you doing there, dog? What you doing there? Well, this will be the last in the series of the uh, hibernating spiders that I've winterized in my house. And uh, hope you enjoy it. And maybe next time we see this old creek, it'll be somewhere in the nice warm spring day, not in the winter. So, it's been a pleasure bringing this series to you. Hope you enjoy it. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Take care now. Oh, look out, Miss Tansy, you're gonna fall through the ice. <laughs> hey, good morning. Bob the Spider Hunter here. Or it might be afternoon or evening where you're at, or when you're watching the video anyway. Ah, nice warm cup of coffee on a cold day. Yeah, it's not too cold, it's like a heat wave. It's almost 29 degrees outside. I'm thinking all along that this spider I have had winterizing with me was a baby black widow left over from uh, some egg that hatched from a widow I had, but I don't know. The reddish legs throw me, and the markings on the bottom of the abdomen which I thought were the reddish colored hourglass may not be that at all. And this may not be a black widow. This may be some other species of spider that got into my black widow jar at some point in time. I've been feeding it all winter because it hasn't slept at all. I mean hibernated. But it looks like a male based on the pedipalps now, after a close-up shot with my phone, definitely a black widow male of the northern species, northern black widow. All right, that's confirmed. Well, it looks like all is well and quiet on the home front down here. Every one of the spiders, except for the Black Widow, has gone back into hibernation. Had something to eat, something to drink, and now, like the big bears of winter, had a little snack, going back into the warm confines of the cave, so to speak, and back into hibernation. So maybe if another sunny, hot day comes out, maybe they'll pop out. Or maybe they'll just stay hibernating now until spring officially arrives. This is a male, full-grown black widow. Oh, I don't know, almost a year old now. So he's a, he's in adulthood. And um, we don't see too many black widows uh, males, at least the general public, because they're really smaller compared to the, the larger female widows. Here's some pictures for you to look at. Female widows first and then the males. Take a look at these. So, I'm going to show you my male black widow, and uh, he's right over here in this container. Looks kind of like he's dead down in there, but that's what they like to do, just kind of chill out and not move much. So I'm going to get him out and uh, give you a look at this male um, black widow spider. This is a northern black widow that has been... Uh, with me winterizing, and when I say winterizing in this case, I just mean staying with me here in the winter, not winterizing as far as hibernation goes. This spider hasn't hibernated at all this winter. Let me bring him out for here you. Here he is right here, and we'll kind of get in as close as I can for you um, to see if we can see any of those 
red markings that are typical for most black widows anyway. Being the northern variety, they have sometimes three, maybe four, if you go all the way around the bottom of the abdomen, red uh, spotting areas. And anyway, you can tell it's a male because of those bulbous tip pedipalps on the uh, front of the spider. All right, let's get the boy out. And here he comes, sporting his beautiful red spots. And making his way onto my hand. And he's off and running. Again, the male black widows are the uh, the smaller of the species of widow spiders. I blew on him a little bit. That's kind of stopped him in his tracks. But he's not in any way anxious to uh, s stop and let me film him. <laughs> <laughs> the old boy is just way too busy. That's so why I put him back in a container for a little bit to let him settle down. He's in here. We're just going to let him settle down for a little bit before we uh, try to bring him out again. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm not worried about him. I just don't want to lose him as he's running around uh, dropping off uh, my hand, whatever, uh, with webbing. So we're just going to wait till he settles down, and I'll try to get some nice close-ups for you in just a minute. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to use a little trick that I've learned in filming spiders. And that is I'm going to roll my sleeve up to expose my uh, hairy arm. That makes it tough for the spider to run quickly. Gives me a little more opportunity to get a hopefully a close-up shot because the camera can't focus on that fast movement of the spider. Um, so this was one way I can get some better shots. So let's try that. I'm going to get him out and put him on my uh, arm. All right, here we go. He's off and running, dropping the line. He's one little busy spider. Slipped on the watch face glass there. Ah, he paused for a second so we can take a look at him. This old boy, ain't nothing slowing him down, not even the hair on my arm. Look at him navigating that like a pro. And he's running across the kitchen counter at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> this guy has no sit in him. All right, Mr. Widow, enough of your antics. You are impossible to keep still. Mm-hmm. So you're going back in your new habitat, right over here. There. Welcome home.
I don't know. I think he's one of the busiest spiders <laughs> I, I've had out in a long time. Anyway, he makes me laugh. I hope you enjoyed the short little clips on the Black Widow and this male who has been here not hibernating but winterizing with me in my home over the winter. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Take care now.